Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Moniz and welcome to episode number four of What's In Your Bag. Now before we begin, I just want to announce last week's winner. We had Elvis versus Marats, two different bags, and Marats ended up taking the lead. But it was a very, very close vote. Well this week is a brand new episode and we have Brianna versus Tom, two different people from two different places in the world. So let's start off with Brianna. Brianna says, Hi Matt, I am a tech freak. I love music and fitness, and I'm a student at NYU Nursing. I have two laptops for different software programs for both school and personal use. Brianna's bag of choice is the Under Armour Storm backpack. She says it's not too techy, but a great mix between a school and fitness bag. There's plenty of pockets and space to store all of her items and durable enough to take some abuse. This can be picked up for $65. One of her laptops of choice is the Apple MacBook Air 13 inch. This runs for about $1,000 on Amazon. She says she uses this laptop for one of her programs and for personal use. There's also a carbon fiber skin on her MacBook to help prevent scratches. Now when she's not using her MacBook, she's working on a Microsoft Surface Pro 3 with an i5 processor and 256 gigabytes of storage space. The type cover is actually the Surface Pro 4 type cover, so it has the bigger trackpad and this retails for around $110. Her Surface is used for another program at school, and I just love how she's using both a Mac and a PC. She's utilizing the best of both worlds. Next up is her mouse of choice, and it is a Microsoft Arc Touch mouse. It has a funky design, but it's comfortable and retails for about 40 bucks on Amazon. She obviously uses this both for her Mac and her PC. But when Brianna is not working and needs to kick back and watch a movie or my YouTube channel, she is rocking the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 8.0. It's perfect for media consumption and great for personal use. And to keep her tablet protected, she's rocking a subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, which retails for about $20. Now this brings me to her phone and her daily driver, and it's the awesome Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Brianna says she absolutely loves it, and quite frankly, I agree with her, it's a really good phone. Now to keep it protected, she's using a UAG S7e case in blue, which retails for about 30 bucks and does a good job of keeping her phone protected from drops and scratches. Now since Brianna is a fitness freak, she has a Samsung Gear Fit 2 to track her steps, calories and monitor her heart rate. I reviewed this product not too long ago and it's absolutely fantastic. The Gear Fit 2 can be picked up for about $200. Now to go along with her phone and fitness wearable are the Power Beats 2 Wireless, which are probably in the top five for best fitness headphones. They are durable, sound great, and offer good battery life. These can be picked up for $200 US. Now when she's on the go, she uses different headphones and her headphones of choice are the Beats Your Beats in-ear headphones. These are refurbished and she picked them up for about 40 bucks. Next is her Bluetooth speaker of choice and that's the JBL Charge Portable Wireless Stereo Speaker. It retails for about $100 and has received great reviews. The battery is rechargeable and provides 12 hours of use before needing a charge. Now with all these products, she needs some serious charging power. That's why she's carrying the Microsoft Dual Portable Battery that has 12,000 milliamps to keep her products juiced throughout the day. So that wraps up Brianna's bag. Thank you so much for submitting your photos and best of luck at NYU. So next up we have Tom and he's a technology student from the Netherlands and he says he uses all these items on a daily basis. And his backpack of choice is the Dakin 101 laptop bag. This retails for about 50 bucks. Now it's not a big bag, but it's a good size with plenty of space to hold a 13 to 15 inch laptop and all of his accessories. The laptop he carries around is the Asus VivoBook. It's 15 inches and comes with an Intel Core i5 processor, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage space, and an NVIDIA GeForce 920 MX graphics card. It's more than powerful enough to handle any of his school related tasks, and you can also do some very light gaming on it. Now to keep his laptop protected inside of his bag, he rocks the Case Logic 15 inch laptop sleeve, which retails for $15 US. Next up is the Logitech M325 wireless mouse, which retails for around 15 bucks. It has great reviews and it's an affordable option if you're looking for something small and portable. Tom's daily driver is a Nexus 6, which is still a decent phone that runs well considering it's using stock Android. You can still pick one of these up for about $300 US and already has the update to Android 7.0. 
But when his hand is hurting from carrying that surfboard of a phone, he rocks a Moto G 2014 that is more than capable of getting the job done. You can pick up the Moto G Play, which is even newer, for $99 on Amazon. Now, since Tom is a student, he needs to carry some extra storage, and for that, he uses the Seagate 7 500 gigabyte USB 3.0 portable hard drive. This retails for $80 US and is quite thin compared to other products on the market. He also uses a couple of verbatim USB storage drives when needed. He didn't say the size, but I'm assuming these are probably anywhere from 16 to 64 gigabytes. Now, instead of using his phone to listen to music, he has a Sony Walkman to take care of that. There's 16 gigabytes of storage, it's small, light, and portable, and retails for about $45 US. His headphones of choice are Apple AirPods, and he also uses Samsung standard AirPods that come in the box with a new phone. Now, if you're one of Tom's friends and you have an iPhone or a Galaxy device, he probably has your headphones. And last up is his portable charger, which is a generic 2000 milliamp power bank. Now, it's not enough to charge a smartphone to 100%, but it's more than enough to get him through the entire day if needed. All right, so that wraps up Tom's bag. Thank you so much, Tom, for submitting your bag. And also, Brianna, thank you again for submitting yours as well. Now, as we always do, don't forget to vote for either Tom or Brianna. I've placed the link in the description down below where you can click on and go ahead and do that. Also, if you wanna be part of this series, I will place instructions in the description down below. And for those of you who are really enjoying this series, please feel free to share it. The more people that know about it, the more momentum it will pick up and the more bags we'll have submitted. Anyways, guys, that wraps up episode number four. There's one more episode to go and then I will choose a winner for the LG G pad. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.